Welcome to Ben African Cichlids. Today we're going to program the ICT-308 Wi-Fi version uh, using the Ingbird app. So the first step we're going to do is download this app here on your app store. And then uh, sign up to the app. Make sure you have Bluetooth turned on on your phone and also uh, make sure that you're using your Wi-Fi connection that is 2.4 gigahertz. So at the bottom of the screen there is home, so that's the main page here. If you have any controller or anything from Ingbird set up in here, it's going to appear in this window. Uh, this window here, that's for if you have some stuff like uh, smart stuff activated uh, in your house. And then the uh, third one is if you want to shop for Ingbird project, you know, you might be wondering what else they have out there that might be nice for you to get or anything like this. Oh, by the way, I tried it. I have a video about this temperature uh, thermometer. It works great. Uh, so anyway, you can shop here and then you and this is to manage your device, manage your uh, the name of your room, manage uh, who else in your family uh, can have access to your device uh, because you can share the control with more than one people. Uh, so like that you don't have to have your own cell phone, it could be your wife or whatever. Okay, so and then nickname here if you want to nickname like some of the room or give it, you know, your fish tank a specific name. So now we're going to go back to home. So the first thing that we want to do now is actually press the plus button at the top here. So that's going to bring us to be able to connect to her device here. Uh, the thing why we haven't plugged this in yet is because uh, when it tries to connect to your device, it's gonna have a light flashing here uh, beside the Wi-Fi signal and this all is only flashing for a certain amount of time and if it times out then you're gonna have trouble to, con to connect to it after that. So we waited until the last minute. As soon as we plug it in, it's gonna start flashing. So now you're seeing all this flash here, but uh, in real life it doesn't flash, it's just because uh, of the camera. Uh, so now her phone or the app is looking for a uh, device in your house that they're not connected yet. So we're going to search for that. Uh, if it doesn't find it or you're having trouble to connect to the device that finds here, you can just scroll down and find the device that you own and uh, press on it and connect that way. So now it find the device. So we're gonna do add device here. And it's asking you again to use, uh, it's making sure that this is the device you want to add. Yes, it is. Because we're connecting the HiCT 308, the Wi Fi one. Now, this, uh, most of the device from Ingbird can only con connect to the 2.4 uh, gigahertz um, Wi Fi signal. It cannot use the 5 gigahertz Wi Fi signal. So make sure that on your phone and to your Wi-Fi you're connected to the one that is either 2.4 gigahertz or the 2.4 slash 5 gigahertz. Uh, if you're only connected to the 5 gigahertz, you won't be able to connect. So, and then it find the name of the Wi-Fi that we're connected to. Now it's asking you for a password uh, for your Wi-Fi password. You can input it if you want to. You do not have to. So we're going to click next. We're not going to input ours. Sometimes this stuff works better if you actually input that, uh, the password. Okay, so this might not connect and it might ask me to reconnect again because 
yeah see it pops the screen reconnect try again and this is because the light here stopped flashing so the trick for this is we're going to hold the Wi-Fi the button that says Wi-Fi here for just a couple seconds it's going to show app at the top and then after that this light is going to start flashing again now that it start flashing it's looking for a cell phone again or a device to connect to so now it find a device and it's connecting and so don't be afraid when the circle goes around if uh, your light for your Wi-Fi stop right, let's restart this for a second okay so when you're uh, just a camera trick to st stop the number from flashing um anyway if their light here stop blinking and it goes away uh, while the circle is halfway don't worry about it usually it takes like maybe five seconds maybe ten seconds and then uh, the light will come back and it's going to be it's not flashing now but I'm trying to show you so it's not flashing so it's nice and solid now and uh, that means that you're connected to your device so now that we're connected to the device we're going to click done so now you're on the main page and you see your device here so we're going to click on the device so now this is the temperature of the probe like it's showing in the top of the screen here and then the temperature below is the set value so what do you have it program at so what we have it program at is the set value here 77.0 exactly like here by the way if you want to see how to program anything uh, all those device uh, manually i have the other video that i'll link uh, in the description and at the top of this video here you can go check that out okay so now the other function that you have so if you want to set the value to another setting so you click on here and it's going to open that page at the bottom of the screen you just scroll to whatever you want so we'll say 80 for example we'll make easy math in the same time so now it showed here at flash app for a second at the top and now we have the controller control at 80 degrees just like the app is saying so you don't even have to be home you'll do it through your wi-fi signal at home uh, your modem will your modem will send the signal for your controller to reprogram itself okay so now the other thing that we we might want to look at so at the bottom here it says 10 trend diagram so if you would have the app running for days or weeks or months then uh, you can click on there it's gonna be empty right now but you would have some kind of a graph like this here showing you what happened with the temperature of your device uh, if it's cooling down warming up like time time of days did this happen and then uh, yeah you can look at other calendar days so this is kind of a neat little feature here okay so now we're going to go into the real neat thing about this controller here and it's that you can control the plug at the bottom so one side is the cooling and one side is the eating so you're gonna plug in your eater on this side and you're gonna plug in a fan or a cooler or some sort of something to cool down your your tank in her uh, here the, all my videos are about fish tanks so will cool down a fish tank with this uh, this device here is made for way more than just fish tanks so the temperature that you're going to see in here might be extreme for an arm for example but this is uh, there's no problem with it like it's just a wide range because you can do seedling uh, you can do like chicken eggs whatever you uh, you can brew your beer or whatever it's gonna control all the temperature for that if that's what you want to use it for but in our case this is fish so 
Okay, so we have our set value set at 80 right now, right? Ah, it's still flashing. Okay, we have our set value set at 80 right now. So the first uh, value at the top that it's asking is eating difference. So you want the plug for your eater to come on. So right now it would be three degrees lower that the set value is. So it would be 77 degrees. So you can change that and then it'll pop you click on it, it'll pop a screen so you can change the value. Uh, I just want two degrees. I click complete. And then uh, cooling difference. So what, time, uh, what temperature uh, difference from the, uh, from the set value is your controller going to activate that cooling plug. So it's at 80 right now so three so if it would be warming up more than three degrees from 80 then uh, from our set value then it would start that cooling plug so well it will send power to the cooling plug and then whatever you have plug in there is gonna have power so yeah so you can change it same you click on there you change the value if you want to and when you're happy with it right complete now the high temperature value is uh, actually an alarm so this is your your alarm I so if the temperature reach 86 then it's gonna start beeping and if I have the notification set up on my phone then it's gonna send me notification as well and then the next one is the low temperature value so low temperature, so if it gets to 57 degrees, then it's going to send me an alarm as well. The alarm will both sound the same. You just have to go into your app or read your notification and figure out what it is. If you're looking at the controller when you have the alarm, then it's going to say AL for alarm low. So alarm for the low temperature and AH for alarm high. And then if your alarm goes on, uh, you press any of the button on your controller and it's going to make the alarm goes off. Now your alarm or your notification on your phone won't keep coming. I think it, it sends you, it to you every half an hour or an hour or something like that as a reminder that something is wrong, but uh, it won't be beeping on your phone. So those values, you can change them to so, you know, if you want your your tank to tell you more uh, closer to the set value, I wouldn't put it too close because remember that we just have a few degrees difference that we, we put for the cooling and heating. So if you put it too close, your alarm's going to come on every time that the heater or the cooler's coming on, right? So you still want like 86 won't kill your fish. So that's a good alarm to have. Uh, so if the tank would warm up more than 86 it will let me know and then 57 that's quite low so in my case here i keep african cichlids so really i think 72 would be a good alarm to have here so if my heater completely quit and even though my controller is sending power to it and it won't warm up the tank if my tank falls to 72 then it's gonna send me an alarm a notification and this is gonna start beeping so i know that something's wrong i have to check the heater or the cooler doesn't matter which alarm it is and then uh, refrigeration delay so this is for if you have a cooler you don't want your compressor to kick on every two seconds uh, so you can put like a time so you don't want your compressor to you want your compressor to not come on uh, it needs to be at least five minutes before it comes back on so like that you're not going to burn up your compressor or your motor uh, next one is temperature calibration so temperature calibration is if you put a thermometer in your fish tank and uh, it's not quite reading the same as what your probe is reading so you can adjust the calibration up or down to make your probe read the same 
reading that your uh, <coughs> that your thermometer is reading. So we're going to do an example here. So the first number here is going to be your uh, you know your degree, and then the second number is point. So you know you might be a one point one degrees of France, one point five degrees of France, whatever the case is. So that's going to change that number here in the same time, right? So uh, let's say it's two degrees difference. So we're going to say, yeah, there's something wrong with the controller. It's two degrees difference. So, and then, uh, so when we get out of there, it should change the number here. So from so 66, I uh, will change the number. Uh, and then the last, Thing on the hap here is temperature unit so this is just you know Fahrenheit or Celsius so now when we come out of here now the app is getting reprogrammed so it's 66 degrees this is the alarm now because the alarm's thinking that the temperature of the tank is too low right because I had the alarm set for 70 so I can press any button on here and it's gonna stop. And same with the hat, saying alarm low. Uh, so yeah, two things happen here when we came out. Uh, first it adjusted the probe, the two degrees higher that we adjusted it earlier. And it also gave me the alarm low. So now we're going to go back in. And then uh, we're going to correct because usually most of the Enberg controller that I have, I never find one that the probe was bad. I had the one in the past that the, the probe ended up uh, being bad after four or five years of using it. Uh, it was those single plug one and then uh, Hingbird sent me a new temperature probe for it. And then it was fine after that. So, okay. Um, so yeah, I put the calibration back to zero. And uh, now for the alarm, uh, alarm low. So I'm gonna put it at 63. And then when we come out of here, it's gonna stop doing the alarm low because it's 66. Right? So this is how you program your uh, your controller. Uh, now, <clears throat> if you press this Wi-Fi button and you hold it for too long by accident, you put something on there, or a book fell on it, I don't know, maybe it was resting against a fish tank or something like that, this is actually going to look for another signal for another device. And it's going to kick you out of this device here. You're, you will have to reconnect it. But this is the only time that you're going to have to reconnect it because uh, if there's a power outage or anything like this uh, the app and your phone and all of your uh, all of your setting will stay programmed into your controller and to your phone so after a power outage everything resume to normal so you don't have to worry about that so it would be the only time all right so yeah this is how you set your controller here i uh, can uh, check the ingbird controllers at uh, ingbird.shop or at ingbird.com and uh, don't forget we have a deal uh, for the rest of the 2023 year if you use the code ben african cichlids so b a c uh, 2023 and then uh, you can have 20% off on your purchase. I'll see you in the next video.